Hey everyone, welcome back to our DC review. Today's review is all about episode 4 of The Penguin. The last three episodes have been incredible, and I think this week's episode was probably the most complex, heartbreaking, and entertaining episode so far. Christine Milioti was phenomenal. She is the perfect Sophia Falcone, and the journey she goes on in this week's story is beautifully sad. At the end of last week's episode, I didn't really know where they would go to, but they use the time to go back in time to see Sophia's backstory, and it really sets up the rest of the season. But what I loved so much about her backstory was how it all just made sense. Her motives to this point were a little blurry, but now we fully understand. And also her relationship with Oz. They seemed to have a genuinely nice relationship, but he only turned her in when she insulted him. She basically said no one cares what Oz thinks because all he is is the driver, and it is so in Oz's character to use that moment to go, you know what, I'm telling your father what you're doing. But even then, he still did care about her, and when she got arrested, you can see he genuinely wanted to stop that and had no idea about that. So he was telling the truth at the end of last episode. But what really struck me was how dark Carmine Falcone really was, and Mark Strong was brilliant in this role. I was upset when John Turturro couldn't return as Falcone due to scheduling conflicts, but Mark Strong Strong did a really great job in his place, and his character is really twisted. After his daughter figures out that he killed all those women, including her own mother, he then frames his own daughter and gets her basically tortured in Arkham Asylum. Her time there was horrible, and I felt so bad for her. You can see the corruption within, and what this made me think of was how big of a task Batman has on his hands. And I love that I thought that because it displays how good the world building is in this show. It doesn't slap you in the face with cameos or rely on Batman to make the show good. It allows you to be fully absorbed and engaged with this story, but also connect it on your own to the Batman. And what Carmine has done to his own daughter is so dark, and now when I rewatch the Batman, I'm gonna see his character a lot darker now. And that's what I love as well. This show is making the Batman so much deeper. I love that movie, but I will love it even more now I know more about the past of these characters. But back to Sophia, because this was really her episode. Christine was brilliant, easily her best performance in the show so far. I feel so much sympathy towards her and can completely understand her feelings towards her family and Oz. And in a weird way, I'm completely on her side. Now, I don't wish death upon anyone, but the people who made 10 years of her life hell really were asking for this. They were asking for it, and the constant disrespect for her and treating her like she didn't matter was just asking for her to do something to them. And at the end of the episode, she really did. She got her revenge in the best way she could, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. This show just gets better and better. It had a slow start, but once it got going, it never stopped. What made me happy too was that this episode wasn't a filler episode. It wasn't there to just keep you subscribed for another week. I'm so used to Star Wars or Marvel shows having filler episodes where they go back in time or off to a different planet and waste so much of the runtime on things we don't need to see. But with The Penguin, every scene matters and every scene enhances the story and builds depth to the characters. It honestly gives me hope for DC Studios with the DCU. This series is story driven. This brilliant story is the focus that elevates everything else. The characters have so much depth and feel unique and really, really thought about. And the world building has increased too, giving you the stronger feeling towards the Batman movie and this Reeves-verse, if you will, moving forward. And James Gunn has said the DCU will focus on the story above everything else. And that is what The Penguin has done. I know it wasn't made by DC Studios, but it is clear where the showrunner's priorities were when making The Penguin. It was entirely on ensuring this story was right, and that is what DC Studios is aiming to do with the DCU. And that gives me a lot of hope. But anyway, back to The Penguin. I loved episode 4. I think this was probably my favourite episode so far, and apparently next episode is meant to be even better, so I can't wait for next week. So I will give today's episode an 8.8 .8 out of 10, but let me know your rating in the comments below. But that is all for today's review. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to 
see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.